center okay and then whatever I want to write I'll have to write it there let's say uh, we are making today gmail registration the interface okay and then we'll close the center So we find things in the center place all right okay same with this now for loading images kind of video file gif you want to load it here so same will be loading one gif here so i'll be taking it as img image source is equals to inside the uh, double inverted commas or single inverted whatever you want right copy the image address and paste it there like this so i have pasted it here all right and then you close this and run this you'll find this here okay this is like a kind of a gif and it will be working here all right okay and this is also in the center place i think we have taken some kind of spaces when the center oh yeah so let's remove that yeah okay okay now it is in the middle and that's nice okay let's go so for making a uh, like uh, whenever you are taking for gmail from any user you're taking or uh, making any username or something like that what are the things we will be focusing on what are the major things we should focus So I'll write things to focus on. And the very first is the uniqueness of the Gmail IDs. Yeah, this is the very first one. The Gmail ID should not be twice written twice. The security. Of passwords. and the OTP management this is giving a normal uh, structure to this okay all right so first of all uh, you have to go for storing data you have to make something where you can store your data so what all we need in storing the data what do you need basically what are the kind of things you will be needing You'll be needing a username. Okay. Just a second. Screen is not visible to whom you kindly rejoin to everyone is not uh, visible with the screen. How many of you cannot see? Only one. Is visible, all right. So, no problem for my side. All right, so username, password. Uh, if you want that phone number, okay, we'll be taking it phone number, gender, first name, last name, like these things, date of birth, all these factors will be needed actually all right and we will make all these things in the kind of a dictionary right so let's make it so let's say my username is equal to for sample i'm taking four five email ids and let it be like a b c d so these are the usernames okay i'm not taking at the rate of gmail i'm just taking the usernames so this is a b c d dot or a b c d at the rate gmail dot com okay like this Okay, these are the four. Uh, let's check one M N O P Q R S T. Still here, I am taking okay five usernames. Same will be going with the passwords. Okay, 
okay now uh, you can make password which would be alphanumeric okay so it depends on you like let's take one capital letter one then the number of letters should be eight around you can keep your uh, like uh, settings and all you can say on like privacy setups and all okay so i'm making just a interface and then you have to modify this according to you okay so i'm not going to make all those things all right so let's take just ex example password p uh, p a b c and then 12 next one is p e f g and then 12 Passwords there. Next. So let's take four numbers. Now, this is your like uh, choice whether you want to keep it an in integer or whether you want to keep this in strings. So I'll take it in strings like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. 10 digit. Okay, so I'm copying this. I'll paste it every time. The same phone numbers I'm taking. Alright, so 5 phone numbers has been taken. Alright. Next, you will take the gender. So these are the samples I'm taking. Okay, you will take user inputs from the user. I, I'm just not taking as a sample. Then we'll take inputs from the user. Let's take male, male, female. Now first name. I'm not taking any middle name like alright. So let's say first name is again same A B C D E F G H I G K L M N O okay last name. So this should not be a compulsion one, but you can take it. Okay, same I'm taking. So what I'll do is just copy and paste. Okay, all things has been done. The last one, date of birth. Now this should be always in the string formats. The formats is of your choice, whatever you want to make it like. Okay. So let's make it the same dates I'm taking again. Three, four, one, two, three, four, and five. Right, five dates. All right. So this is a kind of a sample user data we have made, right? So sample data would be a dictionary where the username will be username. What we have taken? Okay. Passwords will be password what we have taken. Next is phone number. Next 
gender Alright, all three of one, two, three, right in seven. So now I'm done. So this is the sample data, right? Now let's look on to our sample data dot keys. So we have username, passwords, phone number, gender, first name, last name, and date of birth. Alright? Now for like exploring anything, uh, we'll just take sample data and let's take, let's see how many username we have. So I think there should be S. Okay, sorry. Okay, we have ABCD, EFGH, ITKL, MNOP, QRST, right? So it is like for I N. Let's say this is X. Okay. So if you copy it, so this looks something like this. ABC at the rate gmail.com, EFGS at the rate gmail.com, and like this. Okay, so basically, we have just the usernames, not the rest of the domain. All right, now here we'll be requiring a like you can say it as a library, right? Pandas library basically, uh, this comes as for the, all the data modules and all, learning it for there, right? So, you just need to see some of the modules, not the complete pandas structure. Alright, let's say so we'll make a data frame basically you can say a kind of a table we are making okay so a table of the sample data every time of a dictionary what you make right so sample data is my dictionary so I'll make it of my dictionary okay and then we'll look on to this so when I see it oh, just a second it is must be of same then something is an error having there. Let's see. Okay, we have this as four. MNOP is not there. Length should be same otherwise you'll get an error mm, I hope now it's fine So what do you see? Username, passwords, phone number, gender, first name, last name, and the date of birth. All right. Similarly, this is like one we have made, right? Okay. Similar to this, uh, we'll be making some functions, and then we'll be taking inputs from the user, and we'll make a second dictionary, and then I'll let you know that how you can add two dictionaries, or like how can you add this two kind of. Only you need this this thing these three lines that's it don't go for what is pandas what are the data frame and all don't think for that like for now okay we'll be going with very small functions for the pandas and the basics of the time time module and all those basic functions whatever we have learned till now right all right let's see so 
so let's make some functions all right and also like uh, for analysis purpose we use kind of a seaborn so like you can see uh, like if you have a lot of email ids you will be seeing the gender so how you'll find it there right let's take it as a for an example so let's say that we want to see the gender column so i'll say my x is equals to gender okay and we are fetching data from the df so we'll see that we have approximately let's come yeah so we have three females and two male over there in the data right uh, these are some which deals with the data science okay let's go with the functions quickly we have no functions to build So the first function is to accept the first name and the last name from the user. That is the very first uh, working of a Gmail interface, right? First one is to understand the uh, inputs from the first name as the last name from the user. So what we'll do is we'll make two, uh, you can say, two blank list, okay? First name and the last name will be the two blank list all right and then defining a function so let's say it is first name okay so function name is first and last name function and i'll say this is first name is equals to input and enter first name okay so now we'll make loops so while this condition is true which condition that if the first name what the user enters if the first name is equal equals to nothing that is blank if the user does not enter anything then just break that is come out of the loop and end the program basically uh, give an error or give a uh, erase uh, uh, you can say as a file uh, what is that called as uh, a syntax error kind of a thing okay that is basically that you have to enter something here that depends on you if you want to give something or not okay or else uh, and if it is not a blank or if the user enters something then we'll go for the last name and we'll take input from there okay. okay now after the last name has been entered then we'll say first name dot append the first name what the user is and you don't be confused what are the first and the last name working here okay and if also the last name is not equals to a blank then break if it is a blank then again go there in the last name all right this is the function right next function now uh, this function is for
so guys uh, i'm just giving you an overview of how you can make it okay then you have to go through all these and you have to make your own okay next one uh next you can take a function for taking user names like if a new user comes we'll make his usernames and passwords okay so let's define a user and a password don't define any variables inside the function define all the things before the function otherwise you'll be in very long errors okay so this is a user password function okay. so first is a raw username where basically the user enters something and will give an hint to the user that enter username okay as kind of an example xyz at the rate of gmail.com this is an example and let's do one thing okay, like this okay now after the user gives the input you do one thing you split it from where at the rate of gmail.com at the rate of gmail.com okay you specify that we want this kind of inputs now if the raw username of the first one lies in your username you know what, you know what is your username this one There it is. Yeah, this is your username. So whatever the data you have stored, if it lies in your username, then you'll print user name already exists. Right? This is how like you go to a you, you go for building a Gmail account and you enter something as your Gmail and it says that this already exists. And this is how something. Next, else, or else, if it is not existing, then you will go for the password. And it depends on you what your difficulty level is for your password. I'm not setting much. Okay, what are all I am saying is just if the length of the password is greater than 8, then I'll be proceeding. Okay, so if it is greater than 8, then what are you checking? That if the password dot is alphanumeric. okay is not equals to true if it is not equals to true okay if it is equals to true, then it's okay right because it should be alphanumeric if it is not equals to true then we'll print okay, wait. we miss something yeah here yeah. we'll be printing like uh, enter or use this better word use at least one uppercase and one number with lower cases okay i'm making this just now depends on you if you want special characters also depends on you right and if it is an alpha numeric then we'll just append this username where in the user what is the user this is the blank list okay so this is a new user okay. 
of zero. Don't depend the total thing what the user has in there. All right. Okay. Because the raw username will be consisting of the Gmail also. That will be a list. So you need only the first one, and then the password dot append. If the password goes correct, then we'll be appending the password. Don't forget this. If the length is not uh, like equals or sorry, if the length is not greater than eight, then we'll print use at least eight digit password. Okay, this is the second function. Then the third function. Let's make it. So, uh, if you want to see this, like I will be giving you just an example, like uh, let's say for an example, if you see, uh, let's make it a code. Okay, what a username we have? We have uh, A B C D at the rate E F G H. Okay, so let's say that if we are running this function to test whether this works or not, user password function. Let's see. All right. So it says that enter username. So if what if we enter a b c d dot or a b c d at the rate of gmail dot com. It says username already exists. Something like this. All right. Okay. Now if it is something not present, then it will go for asking you the passwords and all. It will go there. Okay. Like this. Next. So this would be a long function because here it would be a function to take date of birth, the gender, and the phone number. Okay, and here you'll be requiring two of the modules we have learned that is date time and the random one. So let's make a date first of all. All right. Or uh, otherwise, what we can do is for gender and all. First, let's take the date of birth even. All right, that would be taking it longer. So, let's take one by one date of birth. This project takes a lot of time to do it. Okay. So, let's take a date. Okay, let's make it capital. Now, let's define this as date. Of both, you can take D G P kind of date, gender, and phone number for that, or otherwise you can make mobile functions and all whatever you want. Okay, so let it be a kind of D G P I'm making here. Now I have to import the random and the date time function. Okay, I will say a uh, month name specifically January. A short form: February, March, May, June, July, August, September, October, Okay. These are the months we have taken, and the day will be in the integer. So this will be the input, and we'll say uh, enter birth date, like in the format you can define which format uh, the user will be taking. Like uh, for now, we only want the birth date. Okay, like there are basically the columns one, one, one boxes will be there, right? Here we are just taking manual input. So let's take a numbers one, five, seven, nineteen, twenty nine. Any any kind of like how can be the dates? It's giving it as. So if the user gives in the day, okay. Let's see it as. It would be better. Why I think it so if the date what the user gives is greater than thirty one, so.
so we'll say something invalid that's it all right or in the else we'll be taking like if it is not greater than 31 okay it can be equals so we'll be taking then the month input of the month so we'll copy this Entered both month. Now it can be something like January, February, and all. Okay, January, February, and uh, like this, we can enter here. So we need double inverted commas, one thing missing. Yeah, fine. Something like that. Okay, this could be the month input, and we'll be capitalizing it. Be using strength functions now if the month what the user gives is there because we have all these in the capital the first one is the capital if the user enters something in another format will be capitalizing it basically so if the month is or if the month is there in the M what formats we have then we'll make something okay uh, we'll see what we are making okay then we'll just take the en input for now or else we can make uh, the uh, date time now str of time now of like percent y and all what we have deals okay the modules what we have done so input year let's make a copy of this in the same format so both year Three different things okay let's say it to be mm, 1987 1996 1929 whatever it is all right now if the year is greater than you know like you can set date time dot date time dot now of year or uh, whatever the current year is 2020 running now you can make it from the module using the calendar function or using the date time module I'm making this a simple one more complexities will be adding up okay I'm making a very simple invalid year if it is greater than or equals because the one who has born just in the current year will cannot make an email ID Okay, nice. Next is what's the time? It's going up. It's too quickly. The date of birth will be str of the date plus in the format plus str of the month plus. We'll rest all the other strings even of the year okay and then date this capital one dot append the date of birth all right and this else which has got if the month does not lie here then we'll just print uh, sorry invalid all right this is the uh, second function so let's see what dgp works if they run dgp then it says enter birth date okay so for now let's just see it has kind of whatever we input okay let's say it's 12 and birth month hmm. so let's say jan okay all right birth year so let's try it 1997 so dgp has done its work what we have done that is everything will be stored in the date so let's say let's see the date it is having 12 january 1997 
in that kind of format okay so what we'll do is this will delete this okay if we look on the date it is empty so we were just testing right okay so let's delete this okay let let's keep it there as it is going ahead now let's make something for the phone number all right will take some time more phone number is actually a big one basically all right so let's define the phone now and define the mobile function and again because you need codes you need random Take the input first of all. Now, for the user who are new, basically, they'll not have phone numbers in their Gmail IDs, right? They'll have to make it, but if the returning user comes, then you will check it basically right that if the mobile number is not in the phone number what you have what the list you have made here for now because these are for the new users so if it is not there in the phone number then we will be checking it right if the length of the mobile number what the user has given is not equals to 10 again our next condition okay if it's not equals to 10 then we'll say invalid input that's it or else if it is there then a code generation will be worked out there that is random dot random dot one two three four five six two seven eight nine zero one Okay, something like this, and the code will be G plus ESTR of the code generation is your one time. verification code okay like this and mm. for now we are not sending it okay so what we will say that print and we'll say enter the OTP sent to your mobile number and we'll be using indexing here ending with mobile number of last three like this this is it. <coughs> all right so enter the OTP sent to your mobile number ending with the last three uh, for the last three will require minus three or just a second minus yeah, minus three till this and for now just how we are not sending so uh, we'll be just printing it there print code okay 
and then we'll be entering our OTP so OTP will be again an input OTP enter and we'll make it as uh, one second OTP enter we'll say just enter OTP and put it done now next step the OTP which has been entered is equal equals to this str of the code generation right because the user may write something in the uh, non str things right so what we will do is this g plus the code generation why to take some problems right so we'll just be writing str of this whole thing however this will be in str but still have an error here yeah okay all right so we'll say print now if this is equal equals to okay then we'll say the last thing that is please accept the terms and conditions to create the account that's it okay and then the answer area for the user so we will ask from the user there we have to basically check it right a checkbox accept the term and conditions pn sees enter one Now if the answer is not equals to 1 <coughs> in the string of 1 sorry <coughs> if it is not equals to 1 then we'll say invalid input now you have to see like if after every invalid input whether you want to give user a second chance or not okay that depends on you how you will make it that is up to you now uh, else if the user gives one then the phone number will be appended to the uh, basically the mobile number appended to the phone number will list what you have created okay and you will print account created successfully okay and if this else occurred basically of the OTP then you will say OTP invalid now if you want to make if you want to send again the OTP you will have to make one more function uh, there you will add it ok and that will work or else in the next one like if it not works so we are in the wrong area yeah this is fine ok and in the second if the numbers exist then you will say this the number exists or you can say number already exists so that's it now let's say if we go for mobile function let's see if we write one two three four five six seven nine zero so enter the otp sent to your mobile number ending with eight nine zero see the number is ending with eight nine zero so ending with eight nine zero and uh, this is the OTP what we have so let's copy it and let's paste it let's see if it works so please accept the terms and conditions and enter one so account created successfully I like this okay so what all has been appended phone number has been done and that's it so if we check on to phone num we will find this new OTP right so basically I'll clear it for now because we don't want any uh, additions previously right let's make agenda function so agenda is easy you have to take small inputs here
the male or female kind of I entered gender just that I'm not taking male and female something like what is the user enters either male or female whatever it is we'll just take input enter gender if the user enters the gender I'm not taking it as enter gender just there okay now if the enter user enters capital M something like what our work is just to lower the thing that's it lowering the things okay and we'll say that if the gender input okay if the gender integer or whatever the input you can say is equal equals to m or f so that is of the first one zero if it is like this okay then we'll say gender dot append gender integer that's it or else or else we will say invalid let's see enter gender let's say if I enter male so if I look on to my gender function I'll see a capital M see it's nice right or if I only enter M what if I only enter M I see my gender see I have two M's right like kind of these things I you want you can only make gender of zero dot capitalize will be working so even if I make male I'll find only M okay these are the things should be focusing on all right like this now again if I run my gender function I say male I look onto my gender I get again this this time I write male and gender would be again on my M okay understand what I'm talking about okay. next so all the functions has been made right the first name last name and all like so if we just check it like fl name function the first function so let's enter the name okay so if I just write it okay so the uh, first name and last name if you look on to the functions we have created where is the uh, names over there we have first name last name okay so first name and the last name so see it's there a list having Sumit and Kumar individually okay in the usernames passwords you can make it and then you can make the phone numbers and you can append it as you want okay so till here uh, we keep it till here today right from tomorrow we'll be uh, increasing it okay stop your video